Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Frankly FM84. A big thank you for coming back and joining me on another video right here on YouTube. Chances are, if you're listening to me right now, you have clicked on the thumbnail or gone by the title description of the video and you are looking for a little bit of customization in your FM22 game. Today, I'm going to be running a tutorial that shows you how to customize the game using skins, whether you just fancy a little bit of a change, fancy something different to look at, or you've seen somebody on the internet who uses one of these skins already. Today, I'm going to try and show you how you can customize your game using them. We are going to source the skin, we're going to download it, we are then going to install it, and we are going to play a game with it. So, what we need to begin with is a brand new web browser. Once you've opened that up, you are going to want to go to fmscout.com. As you can see, the website is loaded behind me. There is a whole host of things on this website. They are probably the number one resource for FM22 players. They've been going for a number of years and they bring so many different updates, and downloads and customization tools. Everything you possibly need will be here somewhere. But for the purpose of this video, even though you can see all the other categories and there is a lot of them, we are going to need to go to the add-on section, which is where you will find the skins. Now, there is a drop down that brings up different options. You've got real name fixes, logo packs, skins, more realistic FM22, databases, face packs, retro databases, and all downloads. Obviously, we're going to customize the game using a skin. So the first thing you're going to want to do is hit the skins button. Once the website has updated, it will load up the skins page. You can see there's 39 current entries on FM Scout under the skins tab. Have a scroll through them, have a look. The most recent one here is Presex Dark, July the 7th update, and it goes through all the way to the start of the game. Uh, the one for the purposes of this video I'm going to pick is Tato Skin FM22 version 2.3. And all you're going to want to do is open the link and then once you get here it will tell you a bit about the creator a bit about the skin what they have done and how they have come to put the skin together there is some preview screenshots as you scroll down you can see and then there is some feedback at the bottom from people in the community that have already used the skin so obviously the big red button here that says download now is your next port of call you hit that button it will take you to another external link where it will link you to Mediafire. It does state if it doesn't start within five seconds, hit the button. But FM Scout is a reputable website. It doesn't have pop-ups or anything to like jump through hoops to get your downloads. It will just take you to Mediafire. And literally, you hit the blue button, and there will be one pop-up. Once the pop-up comes up, you can just close that box off, and it will get rid of the download. That's set the download off and running. And if I hit here, you can see that Tato 22 version 23.1 FMF has now downloaded to the downloads folder. So that is the next place that we are going to go. Let's jump off of the web browser and jump into the file storage system. And we'll show you exactly how to get it from your downloads folder across to FM22. Here we go then, the download has completed and it will end up in your downloads folder. The easiest way to locate it is to hit the little folder on the downloads tab in the web browser. However, if you need to locate it normally, the default would be this PC downloads. For purposes of this video, I have set up another folder so it looks like downloads, downloads, but you would only have one of those. So you can see that the Tato skin is right there. We are just going to click on it. There are two different versions of skins. Some of the skins are more complex and require graphics and text fonts and those kinds of things. And they will have a folder. So the process though remains the same. You're literally going to want to highlight it. You're going to want to right click it, hit the copy button. And then the next place to go is to documents. If you have installed through Steam, the default setting will be this PC documents. You then want to find sports interactive, hit football manager 2022. And then in this folder should be all of these folders. However, there are a few that you do have to create yourself. If skins isn't one of them, right click in the folder and create a new skins folder. We're going to open the skins folder. For the purpose of this video, we are just going to right click, paste that skin straight into there. 
So now the game knows that the skin is there. We have done everything that we need the PC for. We are now going to jump into FM22 and show you how to install it and then what it looks like once it's ready. Okay, so we now have Football Manager 2022 loaded up. There are two different ways that you can load the skin in from this point. If you have already started a save game, there is a second way you can do this. But if you are playing FM22 for the first time, maybe you are late to the game or you just bought it, this is the easiest way to do it. When you hit the landing screen, you are just going to want to find the preferences button here, just above this moving graphic. Once you go into the preferences, you'll get two tabs here overview and advanced for the purpose of this you can hit the overview button and here it will say skin football manager you're just going to want to hit the drop down button and then you will see all of the skins that you have available to you i currently have four available so i have the fme zealand which is the one that i use for my actual rebuilds and wonder kids and tactic videos we have the preset base which was the one that i uh, pointed out on fm scout and then finally we have your download at the bottom Tato. Just hit the Tato uh, button, it will load into the skin here and then if you go to the bottom you can just hit reload skin, it will come up with this pop up saying changing skin, loading image data for the new skin, please wait. This can take anywhere between 10 seconds to about 2 minutes and it's really based on the performance of your computer. Once this has gone through you will then see a change in the game. Gone is the manager with the dressing room. Now you can see Mr. Tato is proudly showing off his football shirt. And from there, you can just go on and do what you want. Start a new game, load a game, join an online game, do everything else you need. If you need to go back to the original, just hit preferences. And once again, that is there. But there is another way that you can do this. I'm quickly going to change and jump into a save. And I will show you how to do it from within an existing save game. OK, so if you have a save game already and you want to load into the save game, this, for example, is one that I use as a bit of a tester. We have jumped into the game and I'm going to show you now how you can still change the skin from in game. So the screen might look like this when you first start. You're going to want to make your way over to the FM button in the top right hand corner. You'll get a list uh, from the drop down menu. You're going to hit preferences. And once again, you're going to see the same tabs that you saw at the start. You're going to get the overview. And you're going to get the advanced. Once again, you just want to hit the Football Manager skin and then select Tato. At the bottom, hit Reload Skin. And once again, you'll see that pop up where it says it's changing the data for the new skin. Please wait. And then hopefully in about 20 seconds, there it is. This is what the skin now looks like. This is the Tato skin all loaded in and ready to play. If I have a little look around, you can see the inbox. Here's the squad listings. If we go and have a look at some players, Alison, for example, this is the new layout for Alison using the Tato skin. Uh, if we go to the tactics, you can see the tactics screen like that. There's the data hub. Club info page is now displayed like this, and there are plenty of customizable tabs. I mean, you can see club info facilities, kits or manager in that tab. It's facilities, club info, kits and managers in that tab. We've got key employees staff starting 11 table and teams so again very customizable but that is how you get the skins that you see on fm scout into the game and loaded go back to fm scout check them all out there is so many skins out there people have so much creativity within the community everybody does a fine job and everybody's looking to play the game slightly different you're just going to have to download a few try a few and find out which one works for if you found this guide helpful, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. A big thank you for being here. I will catch you on another video. Check out something else on the channel. There is something for everyone.